Welcome to Santa Clara University. My name is Lavrit and I teach math at SCU. In this video, I'll be talking about the calculus readiness exam or the CRE, who needs to take it, when and how to take it, and what your score on it means in terms of what math class you should begin with. So what is the calculus readiness exam or the CRE? Well, it is an assessment that we use to place you into your first math course. And to do that, we need to get an accurate picture of what you know now. For our CRE, we use a tool called Alex. And based on your answers, Alex discovers your strengths and weaknesses so that we can find the best first math class for you. Who should take the CRE? Well, you should take the CRE if you're planning to take first quarter calculus at SCU. So that's either Math 11, Math 30, or Math 35. Or you're planning to take pre-calculus, which is Math 9. So we have three different calculus sequences at SCU, depending on your intended major. So math 11 through 14 are for engineering or more uh, technical science majors like chemistry and physics. Math 30 and 31 are for business majors or some econ majors. And math 35 to 36 are for life science majors like biology and neuroscience. Alrighty, so who doesn't need to take uh, the CRE. You don't need to take it if you're not going to take any first quarter calculus class at SCU. Maybe because your major doesn't require it. Or you already took Math 9 pre-calculus at SCU. Or you took pre-calculus at another college. And finally, if you have AP credit for calculus. So how does AP credit work? Well, if you took the AP Calculus AB exam and you scored a 4 or 5 on it, then you can start with second quarter calculus, which is Math 12, 31 or 36, depending on your intended major. But if you got a three or lower on it, then you would need to take the CRE to see if you can start with first quarter calculus or with pre-calculus. If you haven't gotten your AB exam score by summer orientation, then definitely take the CRE before your orientation. Because if you don't take the CRE and you haven't gotten your AP score by orientation, you'll be locked out of registering for classes, which we don't want. Um, the deadline to take the CRE is July 1st. If you missed the deadline for some reason, please email CREdirectors at scu.edu and we are happy to help. So what if you've taken the BC exam? In that case, if you receive a 4 or 5, you can start with Math 13, third quarter calculus, if you need it for your major. Um, if you receive a 3 on it, you can start with second quarter calculus, which is Math 12 or 31 or 36. But if you get a two or lower, then you would take the CRE to see if you start with first quarter calculus or with pre-calculus. If you don't have your BC exam score by summer orientation, well, if you did take the AB exam, maybe the year before, then use that tentatively to register for classes at orientation. And email us once you get your BC score. The email is at the bottom here. And if your score is in high enough range, we can help you switch classes. If you didn't take the AB exam and just the BC exam, and that hasn't come by orientation, then please take the CRE before your orientation. The deadline, again, is July 1st. If you missed the deadline, please email us at CREdirectors at scu.edu. So before you begin the CRE, be ready to spend some time thinking about math. Get yourself in a quiet environment where you can focus for a few hours. It's really about what you know now. So there's no need to prepare beforehand, but if you would like to review some algebra or pre-calculus, I'm gonna include some links in the description below. You may only take the CRE one time, so we really ask that you be ready that first time you take it. Remember, it's about what you know now. Even if your score on the CRE means you need to repeat a class you took in high school, that can often be helpful. It's really about finding the best fit for you in, as you start. Even when I started college, I began by repeating a class I had taken in high school, and that helped me a lot overall in my math track. So how do you take the CRE? First thing you'll want to do is log into eCampus, click on the academics tile, and continue to follow these steps. When you do that, it'll ask you to install what's called Lockdown Browser, which is some anti-cheating software, which helps us ensure that it's really your work that we're seeing. So you'll have three hours to take the CRE once you begin. On average, it takes students about an hour and a half. So after you take the CRE, how do you interpret your score? If you score a 76 or higher, 
Alex thinks that you are ready for first quarter calculus, so you can start with math 11, 30, or 35. But if you score a 75 or lower, Alex thinks that you want to begin with pre-calculus, which is math 9. But there's two important exceptions. If you score between a 72 to a 75, you can have a retake of the CRE, but to do that, you need to complete 15 hours in the Alex prep and learning modules and contact us before July 31st at CREdirectors at scu.edu. If you score between a 68 to a 71, you can also have a retake of the CRE, but you would need to complete 25 hours in the prep and learning modules in Alex and email us at that, that email linked below. So this is for an option for very motivated learners. If you score in that range, but you want to take math nine, that is just fine. If you score between a 61 to a 67, then you place into math nine. You don't have an option for a CRE retake if you score in that range. And if you score a 60 or lower, you also place into math nine. But that score says that Alex is telling us that it's really going to be a good idea for you to do some algebra review before starting pre-calculus. So we recommend in that case that you take a college algebra class at say a community college before you start math nine. So I hope this information was helpful, but if you have other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at CREdirectors at scu.edu. And welcome again to Santa Clara.